Two, press one. That's why guys, I'm calling one of the tribe pastors now. So you hear, you know, how they feel about tomorrow. It's exciting. The team of tomorrow service is signs of time. So let's see. This is 11.53 p.m. Oops. The pastor did not pick. So let's try another one. The okay. number you have dialed is currently switched off. So to switch Please. Off this they are going to fast that pray. God, you have to show yourself strong. <laughs> you know, I had a meeting with them earlier today, and they were talking about how they did not know that this is what it means to pastor a church. How you have to trust God for everything. I said, oh, really? I didn't know you have to trust God. <laughs> so let's see. Um, hmm, let's see. Okay. Let's, let's get this one. I hope you guys um, will listen through this conversation. Second pastor, the third pastor calling not picking. <laughs> they are fasting and praying. I'm so sure they're in their prayer closet right now. The third pastor not picked. <laughs> okay, let's try one more. Um, um let's see. Okay, Pastor picks up. <laughs> Pastor Eli, how are you? I'm fine, sir. So, um, what tribe are you pastor tomorrow? What's your tribe tomorrow? Um, Ogba. Ogba Church. Awesome. Yes, so, how, how are you feeling about tomorrow? How's the momentum? What's going on right there? Ah, a mix of different emotions. Um, Tell me. Yeah, so <clears throat> a mix of excitement, jitters, anticipation. I hope I'll be able to sleep tonight, but <laughs> 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 I'm actually looking forward to tomorrow. Um, in fact, I can't even sleep now because uh, <laughs> the sound people are still in beta, so like I'm just calling, 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 calling. Oh, wow. I feel like uh, about an hour ago. So I, I don't I don't get uh, distracted by that one. So yeah. Just come on, continue with uh, praying and get some rest before tomorrow. I knew all of you could be praying and fasting because I called other pastors and they were not picking their calls. The new pastors they love to pray. People of the <laughs> world and the spirit. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> yes. Sir. So how are you feeling? How how are you feeling personally about it? The first time you did. Yeah. You know, being yeah, resident of a church, pastor in a church, and preaching to a whole, a whole church. Yes, in fact, I was I was all right until I went to the venue and stood on the stage. I saw how <laughs> and that seemed like the place became bigger than it was before when I went there. And in fact, my heart just started beating again. Okay? But I mean, in fact, that was even what drove me back to come and pray. Not that I, I did not pray before. God, please help your child. So I mean, yeah, there's there's jitters, there's butterflies, but I mean, I just I just trust the Holy Spirit more than yeah. Just rest yeah. in Him. It's going to be amazing. Very proud yeah, of all of you. Time to be alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very proud of you and all the other you know tribes. That I'm really proud of everybody in the news. It's amazing to see. So I'll see if I can make it to your own church tomorrow. Let's see. I don't know how I'm going to split yes. myself to seven churches, but um, let's wow. see if I can so make that. Yeah. You have your seats, <laughs> Everybody has their seats for me, don't they? <laughs> but let's see. I, I pray that the grace of God will rest upon you. You will 
carry you know my anointing and speak the word of life to the people in that place Amen. in the name Amen. of jesus christ all right Amen. the same grace the same grace that i carry um that was be, that would be what people would experience even in a greater dimension Amen. in jesus name yes, so go 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 cause some supernatural go bring some joy to the city Yes, sir. Awesome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And thank you for, for inspiring us and pushing us and for your covering of our sir. Thank you, sir. You can keep that thank you for many more to come. Yes, sir. <laughs> we have the whole world to still take. So, like one day at a time, we keep going. Yes, sir. All right. Bless you. Yes, sir. All right, then. All right, then. So, guys, you see, they're excited about tomorrow. They're excited about, you know, um, the seven churches starting on Sunday, tomorrow. And this is actually 1 minute to 12 a.m. So, we're currently recording this, you know, 12 a.m. in um, on Saturday. So, now it's going to be Sunday morning now. In, uh, in 20 seconds, it's going to be Sunday morning. And then, pam! Getting ready for service, so it's exciting. What do you feel about it, you? <laughs> you know, but um, I mean, it's great. It's it's um, such an apostolic move. I'm very excited about it. I think for me, it's more about what is going to happen to the leadership, the people who the responsibility has been given to to pioneer this move you know um it's 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 a brilliant thing to see people rise up i mean i had a meeting with them earlier today all the seven location pastors tri pastors and even from our conversations um some of the things they were saying some of them didn't even know they had that kind of capacity inside of them so for me it's a brilliant thing to see um, an exciting thing to see that in their lives how this has um, stretched them how this has brought out it's like taking them to the wine press you know how this has brought out possibilities inside of them i'm very excited to see it um to your question your question is um what was behind all of this how do i feel about this um i think it's just the move of god there's something god is doing in our time um, and God wants to change the earth through us and it's looking for no other person but you and I um, but you even will be on the camera are you sure you're not, I'm not going to fling you in a moment so just get ready everyone you're not no safe zone anymore in the new <laughs> no safe zone so but it's a move of God God is doing something massive it's very apostolic it's real it's different we started church you know um, in four years and one Sunday, we just say, you know what, we've gathered in thousands, and now it's time for everybody to just go split and start, there, start you know, the same church, the same skin, the same wine, the same the new, but in seven different locations in the mainland city of Lagos. I mean, that's, that's powerful. That's prophetic. And guess what? You know, the, the depth of apostolic is that I'm not even preaching in any of the churches. You know, there are sons, there are daughters, there are people who have been raised, you know, to do that. And uh, I just go and be like a guest in all of these churches tomorrow. I'll see how many churches I can visit tomorrow. Um, it's going to be fun. We'll stop by at different locations to see. But it's really beautiful to see, you know, the way everyone has galvanized together to do this, to see how they gave towards this, to see how everybody, I'm just so proud of the new church globally. I'm so proud of every single member of the new, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm serving the best people in the world and it's a privilege for me to serve, you know, to lead and to pastor um, these people called the new. It's, it's such a joy, the supernatural army. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's interesting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be great. That's a very good question. <laughs> so the question is like, what inspires us to usually in church growth, um, in church planting? What you see is you plant one church, then plant second church, like that, like that. That 
progression, but this one is seven churches at the same time. Well, that's apostolic, you know. So in the month of September, I started to do a study all over again about um, the early church in the book of Acts of the Apostles. And I started to realize um, the importance and the capacity that comes with um, the community kind of church and how it's very crucial and important for this time. And one day, I just felt led in my spirit that we should start seven churches in the new. And I remember I called one of the pastors and I told the pastor, I said, hey, we're going to start seven churches in the new and we're going to get things going. And when we looked at the tribes that we had in the new mainland, we realized that were set, where there were nine. So I said, yeah, let's go for the nine churches. All right. And when we started to plan, we realized that some of those churches were close to each other. And so we decided to just do seven um, instead. All right. And God told me, you know, it was just like a burden put upon me. And we just went for it. And I see the importance of it now in hindsight of not only the men that has been built, the men that has been raised, but the galvanizing power of a generation, the connecting hearts to the vision. It's unbelievable what God has done the past few weeks with these churches, you know, from the finances to the people to the, it's brilliant. And it's only God that could have done this thing. One of the biggest highlights for me is the obedience to God's voice. And that's one of the biggest lessons in life, in life and ministry. To just hear the voice of God and just follow the voice of God. See, even when it doesn't make sense, even if it makes sense and it doesn't make sense, just follow. Because in every obedience, embedded in your obedience are divine resources and allocations. When you are able to obey what God says to you, then you are able to seize, outstretch, and move in a mighty, terrible way like you've never seen before. And so this is some of the lessons that we've learned, you know, just obeying God's voice at this time to start seven churches and it's brilliant to see and we're excited for what is ahead um it's it's god is spirit inspired no man can do these things except the lord be with him scripture says um i think it's just listening to the voice of god god spoke and we're just willing to obey what he has said for us to do um and just that's who we are in the new we don't believe that anything is impossible you know, um, Mary asked the angels, how would these things be? He said, don't worry about that. The Holy Spirit will overshadow you. And that's exactly, you know, the mindset of an average Dini member. We don't believe that it's impossible. Um, we, in fact, we, we run towards things that they say it's impossible. We love to do the impossible, especially when the Holy Spirit himself, you know, is asking us to do it. And so the Holy Spirit asked us to do it. In fact, we're going to do nine. It was nine we were planning to do. All right. The reason why we didn't do nine was because some of the tribes were close to each other. That's the only reason why we didn't do nine. And we collapsed them to seven. And so God asked us to do it and we're bold enough to step out to do it. And that's the that's the DNA of an average Dini member. If you're a member of this tribe, a member of this church, the spirit of might is a common ground. It's a thing we feast with naturally. You know, and you see, this is just the beginning. I mean we are four years old. This is just the beginning. Greater things are yet to be done. Greater territories to take. Listen, we are taking the world. And it's not a cliche. It's not a joke. It's not talk. We are coming everywhere. We started with church, but we are moving to business. We are moving to finance. We are moving to academics. We are moving to entertainment, movies, music. Earlier today, I was sharing with someone that, you know, in a few months, a few years, we are coming to music. And when we come into that space, <laughs> music, movies, Art, fashion, media is total invasion and become in the power of the spirit. So yeah, so that's that's why we we're doing what we're doing. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Too early to let the cat out of the bag. So let me keep that to myself, myself and the Holy Ghost. But you know, in a movement. They say that you can start in one spot and end in several spots. Who knows? <laughs> so let's see. Let's see. It's but I mean, get ready. This is um very prophetic. All that God is doing. I mean, just tomorrow, which is going to be the next Monday, we're starting a 31 days fasting and prayer as a church. Now, what do you think is going to happen to us after that 31 days? Let me ask you. What do you think is going to happen to us after 31 days? 
explosion. Explosion. So you see, all of this is happening seven days, seven churches. By next week, our two churches will start. OU Church is no longer called OU. They are moving to their own facility. All right, it's going to now be called the new Ife. All right. Then Unilag is no longer going to be called Unilag Church. It's going to be called the new um, um, what they call uh, the new Yaba. Right. And in December, the UK Church is starting. Now, what do you think is going to happen? It's movement. 2022. The Lord told us in the earlier of the year that it's the fourth year. All right. So, what do you see in my shirt? Movement. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's it. Uh, well, I think that question will really be for the for the um, the tri pastors. They really did the planning. That's that's my excitement about all of this. That I don't have to preach in all the churches. I don't have to plan it. Um, I don't have to be there. We can have thriving movements, you know, and it's just it's just amazing that the people have caught the spirit of the house. I wasn't involved in the planning, just a few directions here and there. Um, I give them the vision, and the people have been trained and built enough to be able to run with the vision. And so I think that question would be for them. Well, you were there, you were trying to call them, they were busy praying, so you would have heard from them. It is beautiful, so I'm very excited about it. What's the name of the church again? The new. Say it again. The new. And that answers the question. <laughs> if, if it's not the new, if it's not new, then why are we call the new? It has to be new. It has to be different. It has to always be different. See, when we move into all these other spheres, <laughs> worry. The next 31 days is going to be handing over to us templates, divine templates. It's going to be, it's going to be something else. The world. Just watch out. Just watch out for the new. So let me let me keep it there. <laughs> but, but your question is very good, but it has to be different. It has to and it has to be different and easy and with rest, you know? Just easy. I'm not stressed. I'm doing recording. I'm I'm I just went out to you know, dinner night with my wife, came back, chilled. It cost us a lot millions of naira. I mean, you know what it takes to do a service in Grand Year. This cost millions millions to do this nobody's under pressure and we don't have any investor <laughs> or, or it's just the people it's the galvanizing of the people that gave to this we don't have any support whatsoever some people really think that oh dr k funds the new never he's never given us a naira before one naira but it's just the movement of god it's just what god is doing and we've never been in a place where we say oh please oh, give us money we're we in problem no it's just easy because people like you, people like all the new members, and that's why I'm, I'm serving the best set of people in the world that just know what God wants to do and partner with what God is doing. So it's beautiful to see and many more to come. So this is the first time I'm letting this out of the bag. Um, over three months ago, I mean, we do a lot of training and teachings in the new, but in over three months, I was led to move some people, a number of people, to what I call Cave Abdulam. And it was a three month program. And that three month program, they had to pray and fast three times every week. And at least twice in a week, or every week, yeah, we would go twice in a, in a month, we would go to a retreat. You see the videos on the screen right now i will just be there to pray and i'll just teach them and 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 then we had very strict um discipline or what you call spiritual diet you know um and in that period a lot of people were built up were raised they cut the spirit of the house we're very big on discipleship in the new very big on discipleship building people and the year 2023 is going to be on another level it's going to be cave adolams in different places it's going to that's the going to be that's it's going to be house movement you know the the acts of the apostle movement and that's why many of our pastors are buying houses getting big houses it's not because they want to leave or stay in those places because they want to house people. They want to keep people there. And this is some of the things we're going to see, guys. It's, it's an amazing vision from God. 
that it's, it has to be new. It's, it's, it has to be what people haven't seen before. That's why it's called the new. But to answer your question, that's why we pay attention to discipleship. And all through that season, for the past four years, the teachings, the feeding of the people, the prayer meetings, the campaigns, the you know taking them away from one retreat spot to another retreat spot to pray, to stay there. I mean, there are times in this retreat we're just there six hours. I, I would just teach for six hours. I'd always say that, you know, I preach until the spirit leaps. You know, so there's nothing called one hour preaching. I, actually, my preaching time starts from three hours. That's when I start to preach. That's when I get into the Word. So I'm there with them three hours, six hours, just preaching. You know, seven hours. Sometimes it starts 9 a.m. We don't leave there until like 4 a.m. 4 p.m. They just go eat, come back again. And we've had some, several of these types, you know. Um, I, I, so it, that's what it is. Um, it's really just training and discipling the people. And that's why we are able to do the seven churches in one day because people have been built, people have been raised. You know, people have the capacity, you know. So, I mean, think about it. I, I, I'm doing this tonight. You know, it's past 12 a.m. And I have people that can preach and they're going to preach so powerful sermons. And I know that. I mean, the testimony, the signs and wonders will be so evident among the people tomorrow. So yeah, it's exciting. That's a core course. That's called spiritual leadership. Um, I can do a lot of teaching on that, but spiritual leadership is the ability to see people when they don't seem like anything. But that comes a lot in the place of prayer and the anointing that God has given to you. There's a lot of teaching on that. Um, I would always just say it's good to you, for you to get your clear template of what God has asked you to do for him. The deposit to the body of Christ. Um, and you are not trying to be like any other person. You're not trying to lose yourself to be like someone else. You're just you. I'm just me doing my thing. You know, I'm at ease doing what I do. You know, I'm not trying to be like any pastor who has gone ahead or anything. I just, I'm just doing me. And people see the uniqueness of me and embrace the uniqueness of me. So I say to every pastor, get your divine DNA, your divine blueprints from God, your templates, and run with it. And that way, in it is beauty, life, joy, peace. And there are people who God has called, you know, to serve you and for you to serve. And people who carry that blueprint that when you speak, they respond to it. You know, and they can be millions of people around the earth. Yeah. I told you, see, there's so many things that God has told me that I always share, you know, you know, just like Jesus said, there are many things I want to say to you, but you can't contain them right now. But I have to send the Holy Spirit to you. There are many things I want to share or say about the church, but we take it one step at a time. Um, but like we say, this is, a, this is not a church, this is a movement. Movement means that you can start off this place today and you might find yourself in another place next tomorrow. So it's a movement. So expect the unexpectable. Um, we are really just in a movement. So it's not just even it's not just even about um, Nigerian churches. There's there's Asia, all right? There's Philippines, we're going there. You know, there's China, we're going there, there's India, we're going there, there's Guatemala. You don't believe when I say that. But I'm going there. There's Sri Lanka. Who's coming with me? <laughs> we're going there. Guys, it's the world. It's not just, it's the world. The first four years, God told me it was going to be a baking season for us. It was going to be a time of building. Um, um, and I believe that it's going to be the same even next year. But it's going to be like, next year is going to have two legs. All right? But I'm not going to say so much about that. Because we understand the vocabulary of silence. But, it's 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 just time to build and this next four days um 31 days of fasting as a church is just going to sport into something bigger it, the movement is not really going to be Lagos churches it's not going to be planting of churches the same movement is going to enter into the business world the fashion world the family the oil and gas the, the entertainment the hospitals the, the, the health sectors it's, it's movement everywhere you know uh, okay so tomorrow is going to be fun um it's amazing to see the seven churches we're going to go around all these churches let's see you know if we can but um they're going to have so much fun tomorrow god is doing such a great work in in the new 
um, in the body of Christ with this generation, you know, um, is entrusting a generation to our hands. And every one of us watching, you are a part of a bigger picture. You are living a life beyond you. You are living a vision beyond your own vision. And that is the power of the collaboration that we have in the new. This is not a one-time church. It's not a one-stop church. It's a movement. Like I say, when we are 80, 90, we know each other because we are going to the ends of the earth. Remember, unto the glory of the Lord as sands covers the earth. We're not going to stop. We will not cave in. We will not quit until our job is done and victory is won. And then we are the new. All right? Don't forget that statement. We are not going to cave in. We are not going to quit until our job is done until victory is won then <laughs> we're ready for God alright so that's it that's, that's it we're, we're, we're taking the world this is just the beginning of new things I'm so proud of every member of this church I'm so proud of you um, if you've been thinking of joining the new please feel free with open arms welcome you on um, if you have friends and families you want them to join and evangelize to them this season it's going to be an amazing time alright I, I want to say this as we wrap. We're starting out with church movement. That's the first template. But it's never ending with church. World, we are coming. Great joy is coming to our city through us. Remember, the word joy is not the emotional feeling of happiness. It's not excitement of jumping, clapping. The Bible actually described joy as a fetcher. It says, with joy, you draw waters from the well of salvation. And so joy is salvation. What is salvation? Soteria, nothing missing, nothing lacking, broken. Everything in the blessing is salvation. And so when we say great joy is coming, it means that we are bringing the salvation package. What is the salvation package? Christ died, resurrected, rose. Now we are seated with him. And your sickness, your poverty, your lack, the devil is destroyed. We take the earth, we take the nation. That's the salvation part. So when we say we come with great joy to our city, that's what we're bringing to the cities of the earth. And we're talking about the all ends of the earth, from Spain to Peru to Para to Portugal to Italy to Sri Lanka to Germany to Norway to Canada to Ghana to Syria alone to South Sudan to North America to Mexico to London to the UK to the US. Everywhere to the ends of the earth. And the most vibrant voices on the earth will be the news voices. Presidents of nations will be members of this church. Governors will be members of this church. All right? Foreign prime ministers will be members of this church. The people in the tech space, the bigger voices, the, 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 the culture shapers, the, the top influencers of kingdom cultures, you know, and thousands and thousands of churches across the world. Indeed, God is set to do something big, and it starts now. See you guys tomorrow. It's going to be fun tomorrow. Get ready as you journey with me tomorrow all through for the seven churches. God bless you. So proud of you guys and so proud of the new church. Peace.
a good time today um, to see what God is doing in the news just brilliant and uh, it's I mean I mean all of him you know it was really exciting time I'm very proud of every of the pastor every leader every worker every member it's phenomenal I'm, I'm really excited and um, the energy the life the the spirit of the new that was very vibrant and real right there which is Christ you know it's it's beautiful to see so yeah exciting Everybody did a fantastic and a phenomenal work. I'm so proud of you all. I'm so proud of the new. Um, this is the f this is the fourth year. And tomorrow we start our four, uh, 31 days fasting and prayer. Well, I don't know when you're going to be watching this recording, but whenever you're watching it, we'll probably be in the middle of the 40 days, 31 days fasting and prayer. It was really great to see prophecies, you know, being fulfilled. It was great to see a generation hunger for God and yearn after Him and come for Him, and it was it was amazing. So now we're back home. Um, after this long day, what am I going to do today? I'm just going to wait to host the pastors. Um, they'll probably have dinner with me. Um, not today, maybe the next day um, to break the fast. I'm just going to have dinner, just have conversations. We eat, we talk over, over dinner, and um, we just have an amazing time. You know, um, I, I really look forward to, to that time. But to the new, listen. The word of the Lord to us this season is great joy is coming to our city through us. And that's where we are right now. Great joy is coming to our city. And so it's from city to city, from city to city. And I want the whole world, the whole world is going to wait for that. From Germany to Spain to London to Philippines to, um, to China to North Korea to South Korea to Germany to um, the United Kingdom to the United States the new UK, fingers crossed. You know, um, it's, it's going to be an amazing time. Um, this next year is going to be something else, right? I, I see that strongly. God is just invading the world through us. And it's beautiful to see. So, it's an amazing time today. <sighs> I feel like eating my wife's food. <laughs> and, um, I don't, I mean, if you know me, I, I don't, um, in the new, we don't um, just go to rest because of success. You know, for me, it's another God has a way of always putting new visions in my spirit. And that's the DNA of a member of the new. We go to battle and um, we don't just lie there. We don't, you know, waste too much time enjoying success. For we have enough continuous city, we seek another to come. There is always more. There's, it's from one level to another level to another level. So we just don't waste there, drop our hearts and say, oh, yes, let's, you know, from tomorrow morning, What's next? You know, that's the next thing. What's next? Where do we go from here? What's God say next? What's the next thing God wants us to do? We just keep moving. We keep forging. We keep forging. We keep forging. Remember, until our job is done and victory is won, you know, until the whole earth is covered with the glory of God, you know, then um, we still have more work to do. So there's still more work to do. There's still the entertainment space to take over. There's still churches to plant around the world. There is still the media. There's still um, business. There's still the family. There is still healthcare there's still so many things that god has us to do would have us to do and um you know um we, we still have to do that um i just want to say a shout out to the agada church um pastor joshua amazing work i saw the video unfortunately i couldn't be there i really wanted to amazing i'm, I'm really i'm really proud of you um same with k2 church um um pastor Matthew and his team. Oh God, I'm just really proud of you guys. So, so proud of you guys. I don't have more words to say, but all I can say is I'm so proud of you. All the tribe pastors, all the tribe heads, all the tribe leaders, all the volunteers, the workers, the leaders, the members, the first timers. We had lots of first timers across all the churches today. Whoosh! It's it's amazing to see. And then Lekki Church also had its service today. Akura Church, Ibadan Church. It's beautiful. It's just an amazing time that we are in, covering the world. And to only think that this is just a four-year-old church, my goodness. Oof. It's, 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 it brings a lot of um, thoughts and tears to me, you know. Um, I just want to close with this. Many of you are living in my obedience, my obedience to God. And I really pray that we all would offer our lives over to God 
and so that many thousands and millions of people around the world will live in our own obedience. That's my prayer and I pray that you would be willing enough and obedient so that millions of people would live in your own obedience to God. This is just the beginning of the new. There's many more mountains to climb. Many, many more. Let's go for it. See you guys very soon and it's time for me to go. See you. Love you all. We are the new. Great joy is coming to our city through you and me. Peace.